What's something you know but you really shouldn't? My dad has only one working nut. My mom and sister got into a big fight while drunk and my mom told my sister that she came from her dad's bad nut. My grandfather got drunk and told me his wife, not my biological grandmother, is a freak and likes it in every hole. He's in his 90s she's in her 70s. Thanks grandpa. Congrats on the happiness. I'll be over here now. Edit. Thanks for all the comments and likes. A bit more about grandpa. Is now in his late 90s and looking to make the big 100. He's a wonderful man and has such an amazing backstory, World War II vet. He's still got his wits and is even still playing tennis, as for that other aspect of his life. I'm good on keeping my knowledge to that conversation lol. My dad wanted my mom to swing with him but she didn't want to. He took her to a swinging party anyway. She walked out. He stayed and swung I guess. Mom told me. I shouldn't know it. Overheard my mom drunkenly ranting to one of her friends about how my middle kid WASNT planned and was kind of a mistake. H is so much like his fucking father, I can't stand him. I was probably like 7 or 8 at the time and still wish I HADNT heard. So yeah there's that lol. That my uncle didn't die in an accident. He blew his brains out. My mom is a bit of a sitcom-esque idiot who thinks if the door is closed we can't hear her talking in a normal voice on the other side five feet away. Heard her on the phone talking to other relatives about what happened. I just overheard a master access code at my work by accidentally eavesdropping. There are a lot of places I am not authorized to go that I could theoretically get into now. My mother thinks that I consider her husband to be my father. She doesn't know that my biological father and I have known each other for many years, and I am much closer to him than to my mother. Sounds like the plot of a Brazilian drama, lol. That my mom is in a sex-filled online relationship with a young Pakistani fellow. She's 82. Edit. Thanks to all those warning me about scams. She has very little money anyway and this has been going on for over 10 years now. It seems to be a rare case of legitimate online love, or sexting. But still something you wish you never knew. Or inadvertently stumbled upon. When my wife gave birth, the room seemed unusually warm. Warm enough to where I thought I may vomit or faint but maybe I was having nerves from pending fatherhood. After, the doctor handling the delivery cussed out the attending nurses beside the nursery, because the room temperature was at 89 when it should have been around the mid-60s. I walked out from the nursery after hearing most of what was being said on the sentence, if the mother or a baby ends up with an infection or worse, they are going to own this fucking hospital because of your fuck up. I ended up looking at them and said, that's good to know. Since my wife and kids are fine, I won't know the pleasure of owning a hospital, but I don't have to know the pain of medical malpractice. When my great-grandfather came back from fighting in the Somme in the First World War, he could never eat beetroot again. He said it smelt exactly like the rotting bodies in no man's land. That my old boss was banging the office secretary. They were both married to other people. I think she knew I knew. I wish they stopped giving me clues. My boyfriend's parents are swingers. My girlfriend wants to propose. She wants to surprise me if she decides to go through with it. She forgot that I was in a group chat on a Discord that I'm almost never active on, and mentioned it to her gal pals. My friend who is married has kids in the same class as my kids, HES got another parent pregnant who also has a kid in the same class, who isn't his wife. I guessed my son's Reddit account name. Regrets. So many regrets. That my summer job never pressed charges against my friend who stole $12,000 from him over the time of a year because not every closing manager did their audits. As a kid I've witnessed my raging aunt trying to kill her husband with a glass shard from the door window while they were arguing. She stabbed him in the chest, but glass ended up hitting the bone and she gave up to the next ATEP MT. They didn't divorce, they solved the issue and live about 25 years further together, she died this year. I am the only witness. That my aunt has a different father than the guy she thinks was her dad. She's in her 60s and is an elected official in my state. No f in clue. That my sous chef sells drugs in the kitchen, on the clock. That my grandmother used to sell my mom out when she was a young teen, not age of consent, and when she fell in love with my father, she refused to sleep with the men my grandmother wanted her to for rent, so she kicked her out of the house. She was 17 at the time, my sister was born just over a year later and me right after. It fucked her up for life. I'm thankful my grandmother died before I was ever born. Who the real father of my former manager's child is. I was the one who caught the pair having an affair at work and while I didn't report them, 
it came back to bite them both in a big way. My manager later drunkenly told me her newborn wasn't her husband's child. CW, sexual assault. My grandpa beat my grandma almost to death several times and most of their 12 kids were conceived through rape. Like grandma would come home from the hospital after just having a baby and sometimes he wouldn't even give her a chance to take her coat off or put the baby down before attacking her. She had to go and get re-stitched several times. She tried to leave, but her family told her that that's just how marriage is. Grandma got drunk at Easter once and told me and a couple of my female cousins all this, but not her own kids. She also said to never trust men and made sure when we got married to give us all porn-friendly jewelry for if we ever needed an out. Grandma struggled with a lot of addictions over the years and, knowing this, I can kinda see why. That human skin sells for $10 per inch. Edit. Never would have thought that my most upvoted comment would be about dealing skin. The detective of my local police department lets evidence rot or disappear in storage when it has anything to do with one unspecified gang. I know, some of, the contents of my grandparents' will. I know how much money they gave to each of their children. I know that my mother's and aunt's relationship has been heavily strained because of how the money was divided. Edit. Holy butts, I was not expecting this to get big. Er uh, thanks guys. A friend of mine's mother left her father because she found his stash of child porn. The mother told me when I was an adult and has asked me to never tell my friend. I shall take it to my grave. Except for sharing it in here of course. Weird. Dot but when I was a kid, six or seven. My dad told me that my twin brother was living in Florida with the in-laws of my great aunt. I was too young to understand what all of this was and was warned to STFU and never say a word. Nothing about this totally fucked up situation made sense to my little brain. Only a few people knew, because mom was knocked out during delivery. Dot she wasn't aware of two babies. 0.60 plus years ago. Apparently, twins were suspected and maternal grandma and her sisters decided mom was not ready for two babies. Dad found out, ran off to Florida to find his son. Parents divorced. Everyone now long dead. Never met the brother. My company doesn't have enough money to pay people next month face with rolling eyes. I told my aunt she shouldn't drive when taking the amount of painkillers she has taken. I was younger, but I blurted this out when it became obvious she was on something. I told my mom she needs help, she didn't really believe it, then she forgot I went to her about it. My aunt fell asleep at the wheel, extremely lucky she didn't die, but she was in absolute pain after that. She could no longer go on painkillers, which made things worse. Had to stay in the hospital for depression. Between this, she is the strongest, most empathetic person I know, and a huge role model of mine. She unfortunately got sick after this and died at a young age. I wish I raised a louder alarm, but no one wants to listen to a non-adult. Underneath the airstrip in Kitzingen, Germany there is a bunker with weapons and equipment. It's been flooded since the end of WW2. The retreating Germans booby trapped it to the point it was judged unsafe to clear. Unsubstantiated was there are the parts for an ME-262 down there. After quitting heroin, everything is just mildly lame by comparison. Edit. Since people were asking. I was off it a year, relapsed and odded March 2020 during lockdown insanity, been clean since. My mom got romance scammed for $300,000. I had moved out and she turned my bedroom into her office. I had stuff still in the room and checked on top of the dresser. There was a printed form of a FBI report that she had filled out which stated she got scammed for the mentioned amount. I confronted her about it and she told me. She went into debt to give that scammed money. She told me they were caught in Italy but the money was not recoverable. That my old boss didn't walk into a saw, his son accidentally cut his dad's leg off. They were doing work, the saw was in a place it shouldn't have been and the kid sawed into a bush and got the dad's leg. While waiting for the ambulance the dad told his son I walked into it, it was an accident. For months the kid had had guilt then months after that the parents told the son the truth and he had a mental breakdown. I was told this while being fired from an admin position at a motel. Apparently I was a silent moving child who'd sneak behind adults. I found out these following things. My friend's gran had cancer four months before he was told. My cousin had dwarfism and was given growth hormones without her knowledge as a child. My parents are swingers. My other cousin had a tail. Another cousin was arrested for sex in a public place, not being drunk in public. Human body does not splat on the ground instead, it bounces up. That my half-brother's dad wanted my mom to piss on him during sex. 
PSA for parents, it's not okay to fuck in the same room as your children just because you think they're asleep. Waking up to that kind of shit can really fuck a kid up. Thank you. How everyone at the office was on Coke or Adderall, Vivance or some combination of both. Edit. Fixing ambiguity. I worked for a local 501c3 org who claimed their mission was to donate funds to the neighborhood, but they actually just laundered money into local political campaigns. It's not very not safe for work but HR accidentally sent me a spreadsheet with the salary details of every single person, 800, in the company. Pretty handy to have really. My grandma constantly stalks and flirts with this random guy on TikTok. Her PFP is me when I was three. My aunt started dating my uncle on the rebound from the love of her life. When she realized she didn't love him she tried to call it off but he threatened to kill himself so she went through with it. She was also quite a bit in love with the idea of getting married so I think she felt he was better than nothing. Many tolerable but not particularly happy years of marriage later they are still together and the youngest child is named after the former love of her life. About what my friend does with his friends, he watches porn with them every Friday on a voice call, I just got off call with him because he was hosting the call this time and had to get on. My dad's porn tastes if I wanted. He'll watch it out in the living room at night, on the desktop, he doesn't have a laptop and is almost irrationally against using his cell for anything that isn't a phone call, when everyone else is in their rooms. Or at least he assumes they are. One time he even left the window open into the day I guess he thought he was gonna get back to it and didn't. Had to have my hand blocking all the screen but the close button. I know that my aunt's ex-husband, one of my dad's best friends, tried to get with my mom after my dad died. That my half-brother was entitled all the way when our dad died, he got the house, the car and the insurance money. I got a $3,100 bill to do his cremation. I wish I didn't know that. My mom told me that my father believes breasts should be the size of cantaloupes. I don't know why she thought this was appropriate, I was a teen. My breasts are about that size. And any time I do the girl thing and grab one, I think about it. It's a curse. My second best friend, watched my main best friend fuck my girlfriend. It's complicated. We were all teens, but me and my girl got in a fight, and she left to this party house. G was there, and he was attractive. He was my best friend. They ended up connecting and having sex, but my other best friend watched through the crack of the door. Which, as an adult, is even weirder than cheating. Bestie is dead. Cheater is in and out of the clinic. Second best friend is losing his mind, alone in the woods, on disability. I'm on Apple Music. Fuck em. How human flesh tastes, not from first-hand experience. I took scuba diving lessons. The instructor, a retired Navy captain, gave a lecture on sharks and why they really aren't much of a danger to people. Sharks have incredible olfactory senses and know what something tastes like before they take the first bite. He went into a detailed explanation of the minerals in human flesh and the consistency of even decently in shape people, which if you are scuba diving, you are in decent shape, and overall, just how unsuitable for consumption human flesh is. At various points in my childhood, I heard my relatives, parents and grandparents both, discussing things they disliked about me and all the other children in my family. On a lighter note, I also discovered one of my friend's blogs, on which they posted about how their landlords kept kicking them out for directing porn. They had told everyone, for two apartments in a row, that the landlords had been bigots. But no, they just shot porn at all hours of the day and night. What brain tissue, jaw bones, teeth and random flesh looks and feels like. Cleaned up after a friend's son shot himself. Birdshot. Finding teeth of a teenager you knew in his father's slipper. That is what I want to forget. All of it, really. Edit to add sincere thanks for the kindness and support. To clarify, the family were given a card for crime scene cleaners but couldn't afford it, and when we heard that our friend, the mother of the deceased, was cleaning it up herself a few of us went over.